different firmware. It might have an unstandard or like a beta okay. firmware. So maybe that'll be there in another download. Thank you. So when you so upgrade, then, then, do you like is there a way for people to, like, if they already have an existing Yes. Yeah. On Clio World, the, the website, there's a, um, it, it tells you how to do all that stuff. There's a Clio World sticker. Uh, this is an awesome board. Like, I don't work for the company. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. So, yeah, I walk around, people say, what do you do for a living? I start to say it, and then, uh, <laughs> here, look it up on here, on cleoworld.com. Like, oh, my friends, it's time to go home. Please the toilet. All right, Thanks again. Have what? Yeah. Looks like. I mean, yes. We'll yeah. Well, what I want to do is just What we do ourselves is where's Cleo? There's a a port down here that you make it move. Uh, we had to work really hard to allow this to still be there, but not, not be actually be there. Um, <laughs> so behind this port, there's a connector, and it, it allows you to power the Clio externally, and it has a... Uh, Excuse um, me. RS oh, it? Somebody lose this phone. Oh, it's a RS-232. <laughs> yeah. And so one of the things we do a lot is put a, we'll put a Zigbee or a Bluetooth module on here. And then, actually, on my really old are, phone, I just changed to this iPhone, on my old uh, Nokia 6620, which runs Python, um, and I have a Python script that will interact with Clio, so you can uh, find out what he's thinking and stuff. Is that running the monitor, or what? Yeah, just use like it. I was using it with the monitor. Chuffs a bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Blink, sure. Let's pick it up. That's more like a chuffy. Yeah, I've done those. For, for, you know, when you've been out there, you know, I've done it through this thing. Um, I don't have anything to do right now doing that. They also can talk to each other. So we had, um, they'll wonder now. Yes. So what I was going to do there was uh, use an SD I.O. card mm -hmm. because then you can kind of choose what you want to do. Mm -hmm. um, it's not an official thing for the company, but um, I want to do it for myself because a lot of times I want to do my debugging on the PC, right, and mm -hmm. be able to use Python. And so, um, and so I just want to get the sensor data in and send the animations in. Mm -hmm. An abstraction. Right. right. And uh, so that's what I'm trying to do. So that the easiest way is just putting the card in there. And then I suggested maybe just releasing a version. Yeah, I think so. a better version for, for people who are doing development and had a few other affordances. And maybe do it in a clear skin. My name is William Jones, by the way. Hi, I'm Jones. Uh, uh, I was responsible for a little thing called 3 6 Oh, yeah. I understand a tiny little bit about operating systems. I've done more. I've done other kinds of startups. Uh, but anyway, anyways, the... Uh, the I, I thought that that uh, approach that you were just saying is ideal for being able to interact uh, in um, uh, uh, situations where you have um, kids uh, and a therapist can be able to have somebody in the background impart uh, actions and emotions mm -hmm. uh, remotely, possibly through a, a, a watching a mirror or a right. camera, and, and uh, being able to be part of the therapy process. Or, you know, that's a kind of wonderful way of having a, a nice environment, especially something that will be fairly simple and conceivable. Well, you can kind of do that yourself, as I was saying. There's a, 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 a little hidden port under there that you can get at and then tuck a board under the skin and, and kind of get away with it. That's what I do. It's a wonderful project. It uh, must have been uh, a labor of love. And, uh, yeah, I can't think of a better job because it lets me, <laughs> lets me do all these different things that I, I love. You know, the electronics and the... And the programming and the mechanics and all of the yeah. spots. Now, now, um, one of the things that occurs to me is that there are tie-ins 
Now I'll put on my business hat for a moment. Um, there are tie-ins with, with the backwards. products I'll and, kill them. and possible games. This is a perfect for Pixar in a lot of ways, I would imagine. You Actually, you approaches. know, Pixar came over to talk to us when they were doing that. Um, Andrew Stanton and Jim Morrison and those guys came over because they wanted to talk about robotics while they were working on WALL-E. Mm -hmm. Oh, WALL-E, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was very fun because we talked to him about all of this, this yeah. stuff. And then, you know, we did get some interest in doing a lot in helping out with, the, with that I'll robot. I'll take a video. <laughs> I mean, they weren't willing to make a real